look it up. <laughs> See that sun? I always sleep in on Tuesdays because I do my infusions on Monday night and they make me so tired. So I can't say I always sleep in on Tuesdays because sometimes we have plans. But if we don't, my body will just sleep because it has to work really hard throughout the night to absorb all that medication. It just makes me tired. Evie's behind me still sleeping. <laughs> and now I'm laying here thinking about everything that I have to do today. Uh, we're gonna film today, uh, like a sponsorship. And I have editing I need to do. And it's just all kinds of things. So I'm like, all right, Leslie, get up and get going. Good morning. Good morning. So real quick, before I like, I always do my Bible study first thing in the morning, but I do it upstairs. But real quick, before I go and do that, I have something that's bugging me. And if I don't get on and do it now, it's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> but um, I need to order Jason's medication from the VA because they're super slow. And if you don't order it at least two weeks out, then I'll get this gap where there, it's not gonna be here in time, so. Oh, she wants to stop. Oh, okay. Huh. I'm a little nervous about stopping it. Mm, man, anytime we mess with Jason's medication, It's always been bad. Oh my goodness, please let this not go bad. Hey dude, guess what? What? So I just got on to reorder your medication and she doesn't want you to have it anymore. Who's she? The doctor from KU, the Aricept, not the mood medication, but the other one for memory. Yeah. She thinks with your new diagnosis that let's, she wants to try it with, try without it. Ever. What do you think? I'm nervous. I had the privilege of not having to think because I can't. The question is, can you deal with it? Is it going to make you... It's not going to change your mood, but is it going to... What's it going to do? I don't know what it does to begin with. It's the one that helps you with your memory. Well, my memory it... sucks anyway. Well, that's what she thinks, that we'd, we're beyond it and we don't need it anymore. That's another foot in the grave, I guess. Stop. <laughs> Stop. We could give you medicine that would help, but it's not helping anymore, so we're going to take it away because, well, why waste the money on somebody who doesn't, you know, that's cool, whatever, I'll just die. Stop it. Are you guys enjoying the show? Oh, yes. This, so I'm laughing. So Jason said that we're in his really messy sunroom right now. We'll explain later what is going on out here. But he's enjoying... Ooh, it's too bright. I can't see. There we go. He's enjoying his show of the neighbors having this big, gigantic tree cut down. That's pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for, like, the big stuff? Or is he just going to do it small all the yeah, way? He's going to do it small. It's not like timber. He's not even letting the stuff fall. He's tying the yeah, things off so they don't make big dents in the yard. Yeah, I see that. That's pretty cool. What are you doing, huh? You looking for a little morning cheese? This girl's a cheese head. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> you licking your chops? Come here, mister. Mister, come here. These two. <coughs> the good news is Jason just wants some cereal for breakfast, so that's nice. Raisin Bran Crunch. Would you guys like a tour of my kegerator project? <laughs> it will surprise you what the plan is. Come on, neighbors. <laughs> oh, oh, we got Mr. Rogers today? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so this is a regular kegerator that everybody's used to seeing. 
I've upgraded to what is called a Cobra head, which has four spouts. And then I can put four small kegs in there. It's got a drain, which I'm... And because I struggle with attention and... This has taken me about a month to get this far. <laughs> it might take the regular human being two or three hours, but let's face it. We, it's a, it's, accommodating. I am accommodating all the stuff everywhere. I make him put it up if like people are coming over, but yeah. It was clean yesterday and I got all this back out. So, what is the plan you say? Because Jason doesn't even drink and that's a very astute observation. Each of these taps, you see a, what would normally be a stout beer tap like Guinness. All right, we're gonna go nitro coffee. This one's going to be root beer. This one's going to be butter beer, which if you're thinking about Harry Potter, you'd be absolutely right. It's a butterscotch cream soda that I make. And this one is going to be uh, like mineral water. Okay. Oh, your seltzer? For my seltzer. So, this is the uh, non-alcoholic equivalent of I still like to feel like I can participate. So this is where I do my Bible study every day, is up here in my grandkid room. I do it every morning. I am so late today, but you know what? Better late than never. And then this is our routine. <laughs> she comes and sits with me. You need to learn about the Lord today. <laughs> Thanks. I always get a lot of people ask, like, what uh, Bible study am I doing? <laughs> I'm literally just reading the Bible right now, and I'm really enjoying it. I do have a little thing that's going to, like, a guide to help me. I'm finishing up the New Testament. I'm very close. And then I'm starting on the Old Testament. I did the New Testament. And then I'm doing the Old Testament this time. And um, But I did get this little study guide to help with the Old Testament. Because I, obviously I feel like the Old Testament is harder than the New Testament. So let me slow down here. Do this for a few minutes. And then we got to get busy. I was going to come out, but you were on the phone. You're only doing two, huh? You're only doing two. I guess we'll see. Well, we're Sean and short on Mac. <laughs> oh, no. That's it already. <laughs> so we're filming for Good Chop today. This is the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> so you guys will get to see not only the ad, but you're going to get to see some behind the scenes of like what's really going on. <laughs> it's always interesting. I heard the back door open. What is Jason doing? Let's go see. Oh boy. My trail cam is going to be getting lots of stuff of Jason. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thought we'd come down and see what you're doing. Look at this. mainly vines. You know, it's just vines up in the tree. Yeah. I'm going to clean up like around that. I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm going to stick to them. Yeah. How about that thing, about to take a break. <laughs> you just came out here. <laughs> I love you. You know I'm messing with you. Even well, I don't think you're messing with me. I don't have any pills anymore. Oh no! You saw mood pills. That's so that's a good thing. Depends on. Depends on who's asking. <laughs> I'll show you the progress on the fire pit. Oh, excuse us, Evie. Sorry. So, as you can see here, it's not a lot of progress. It's nice and leveled out. We're gonna build like a retaining wall and then that's gonna be stone. Little stairs that go up, fire pit in the middle, and then a little path to the thing. <laughs> My UTV is underneath the deck for the winter. I'm ready for spring, it's so beautiful today. I'll tell you what, if you hear that door open, you gotta hurry and go see what he's doing. <laughs> I have like cameras and different things that tell me like if Jason does anything and uh, sometimes it's not always a good thing uh, as you can see he'll just go and get like a power tool and start working things and obviously in the past that would have been no big deal but now you just got to make sure that he's not climbing on the roof or it's just yeah what's one thing I do like about winter is Jason doesn't like to be cold <laughs> Is I know he won't go outside, but now that it's warmed up today, ay ay ay. Okay, 
So that just took longer because I have to kind of like hang around and like keep an eye on him and watch what he's doing. Evie's laying right here next to me in the sun. So what we're going to do is we are going to film the Good Chop sponsorship. I'm going to show you guys that now. Here is a word from our sponsor, Good Chop. My Good Chop order is here just in time for me to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. So many amazing options. That's one of my favorite things about Good Chop is it's so convenient. They have over 60 cuts of meat that you can choose from. I got some ribeye and I got some New York strip. They're amazing. I also ordered seafood. So you can do beef, you can do chicken, pork, seafood. There are so many options on there and there are no added antibiotics or hormones ever. They even have scallops. So I got shrimp, salmon, and scallops this time because he was craving some seafood. And then I really adore their hamburger, which I actually think this is what I'm going to set out for dinner tonight because I think I'm going to make Jason's grandma's barbecue meatballs. And you cannot go wrong with a good chop hamburger. They have a 100% money back guarantee. If you don't love it, you get your money back. One of the things I really like about Good Chop is I don't get weirded out by the meat. What I mean by that, sometimes I feel like it's hard to find quality meat. And Good Chop is definitely that. And I know I can trust them because the meat and the fish is all done here in the US, all done by American farms and fisheries. If you guys wanna give Good Chop a try, I highly suggest it. It's so convenient, it comes straight to your door. No more questioning what your meat has in it. You know it's gonna be a good quality product. If you want to, you can head to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use my code acharmingabode120 and that will get you $120 off across your first four boxes or just click the link down below and it'll take you over there. Yeah. Sous chef in the house, He's gonna chop some onion for me. Dinner's ready. If you want the ease and convenience of having your meat shipped straight to your door, head to goodchop.com slash YouTube and use my code acharmingabode120. You'll get $120 off across your first four boxes today. And thank you to Good Chop for sponsoring today's video. I got my sous chef. I got my sous. What? Is, I can't even say sous chef. <laughs> Hold on, let me start. Can you get the onion out for <laughs> Yes. Another whole bowl? Yeah, Sous chef in the house. He's gonna chop some onion for me. Thank you very much, Mr. Weiser. Okay, those meatballs are cooking. That meatball recipe is so good. Good chop is so good. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the meatballs to cook, I'm gonna get some work done. Um, I have a newsletter to write. I have some posts I need to make for Facebook. And so I'm going to do those kinds of things. I'm not going to sit here and film myself doing that because it's really boring for you guys. Um, and then after we get done filming and eating and everything, Jason's going to go to the neighbors and I'm going to run to the store. Um, I have some stuff I want to get for Valentine's day and I have these cookies that we're going to make. They're, um, chocolate chocolate strawberry dipped cookies. And I'm gonna put those over on Instagram and you're gonna to get to see them here today also. So let's do this, finish up Good Chop, and then we'll get to that. Oh, that looks delicious. Hold on, it needs to be a little bit higher. <laughs> hey, you made uh, more ice cream casserole just for today? I did. You don't got no silly. My stomach kinda of hurts. So I'm like, eh. Mm. Oh, this one's protein. Oh, there you go. I did I did do a a close up of it. Okay. Let me scoot over a little so we're <clears throat> Oh man, hold on. Let me make that be quiet. I was telling them how this is your grandma's meatball recipe, her barbecue meatball recipe. That's a good meatball. <laughs> if you want the ease and convenience of having your, what is this, meat? What do I normally say? Hamburger? No. Good chop? Yeah, well, just a minute. Ground beef? Stop. If you want the ease and convenience of having your meat shipped straight to your door, I guess it is meat. Okay, there. Thank you. You're leaving me? All right. Bye. Thank you. Love you. See you there. <laughs> 
all by myself. <laughs> Jason never eats with me anymore. It's really weird. I don't know what it is. I don't take it personally. Every once in a while, I can get him to eat with me. I know it has something to do with the dementia. I have a lot of people in my support group that it's the same way, but doesn't mean it's fun. Okay, I'm running to Walmart really quick. Woo, sunny out here today. Jason's over. Oh, can't see on my sunglasses. Jason's over at the neighbors. Okay, we're gonna go run and do this really quick. And this is my little, my little retreat, my little get away by myself since I uh, don't get to get away very much. Um, I'm usually with Jason, but he goes over to the neighbors and then this is my chance to go run to the store. Woohoo! Round two of dishes. I gotta clean up the mess from the Good Shop video and then we're gonna make our cookies. All right, I'm all set up. I'm going to make an Instagram reel uh, about the chocolate uh, strawberry dipped cookies. And so I'm filming me filming this. <laughs> Is this goofy or what? Goofy. Ah! I will let you guys know on a little secret. Little, little secret. You guys are the first to know. I have a cookbook coming out and I have taken all of my recipes that I have posted over definitely over the last year and maybe longer and compile them all together. It's very nice. And I'm going to do like a little e-cookbook for you guys. And uh, it's almost done. I'm so excited. So if you enjoy the recipes that I share all the time and you want to have them all in one nice handy, you know, place, I got you covered. Okay, well, let's get to doing this. I have no lipstick on. Hold on. Make me crack up. Crack it up. Look what just happened. <sighs> there was like dirty chocolate chip cookie dough stuff stuck in this when I went to put it on there. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, always something. There's always a lot that goes on behind the scenes that people have no idea. You guys know who I used to just absolutely, I mean, I still adore, but she was just like someone I looked up to and someone who I was like, oh, that's who I want to be when I grow up. And I was like in my 20s. Semi-homemade cooking with Sandra Lee. I've talked about her on here before. Oh my goodness. I just thought she was everything. I watched her show all the time and I just thought like her stuff was so great I wanted to do all her stuff that's how I actually started getting into tablescapes was from her and so thank you Sandra Lee you were an inspiration you can come in I don't wanna interrupt. that's all right I gotta show you something Katie sent me some stuff my cookbook's almost done it's very exciting. It's super cute. When you are done with that, and have a spare minute, while I'm looking at those cookbook stuff, would you be a nurse and fix it back in my leg? What'd you do to your leg? Last time I scraped it all up on the back of my What? Jason Michael? I didn't even know what happened to it. Why didn't... What are you doing? Come over here by the light. You're not gonna be blinded by it, are you? I'm already blinded by your beauty. Let's check this leg out. Turn around. Lift. Oh my goodness. What am I gonna do with you? What kind of caregiver am I? Yep, just let me wander around. And wander <laughs> around and get hurt. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let me get it cleaned up. You poor thing. No, get out of my cookie dough. Oh, <gasps> you're a punk. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. 
I know where you live. A little punk. All right, the cookies are cooling. I'm gonna go take the dogs for a quick walk while they're cooling and then we'll come back and we'll melt our chocolate, get those dipped, get the real made. Then I need to go edit another video and I'm getting tired. I'm always so tired today on Tuesdays. I wanna sit down. <laughs> it's um, four o'clock in the afternoon. I need to sit down. Here's what Jason's doing right now. Taking a little siesta. Okay, dang. These are really good. Check these out. So cute. The chocolate with the strawberry tastes like a chocolate dipped strawberry. Okay, while well, he's still napping, I'm gonna eat all the cookies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my office and get some editing done. And then I'm going to see if he what he wants for dinner. Because we had such a big lunch. And I'm eating this, I'm not even hungry. So, frozen pizza for dinner. <laughs> this one's perfect. I really got nothing here. I put the avocado ranch today for my burrito. Okay, ranch. Jason. What? I can see it standing right here. Where? Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, come on, dude. I got a dog down here begging me for dinner. I'm making everybody some dinner. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's just here. Oh boy. I'm gonna finish up dinner, go sit down and finish editing tomorrow's newsletter. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, be sure to do so. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment and share and like and all the things. Oh my goodness. Let me go take care of her, get Jason his dinner, and there you go. I had so much fun bringing you guys along with me today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.